viewer thank you so much for checking in today I'm gonna show you uh, some more stuff about the Toby IX you know the tracker that I unboxed in one of my previous videos I'm gonna put the link down below so you can check it out later if you want to anyways uh, just to answer like one first question uh, the question being what is eye tracking uh, it's a sensor technology that basically it knows where your eyes are focused. So what I've done since my unboxing video is actually I've plugged in my, my iX um, to my USB 3 port, which is that's crucial. You need to have make sure that your computer has an USB 3 port, and then you will be able to, be able to use the iX. I've also updated my computer to Windows 10, which then means that I'm able to use all of the Windows Hello features and also um, a thing that might be good to know is that you're not, you're not recommended to use the Toby, the, the tracker, if your screen is bigger than 27 inches. To be able to play DC and many of the other games that are now supporting infinite screen extension with the tracker, you have to head over to Toby, um, let's see, toby.com slash apps and there you can see all the games that are are working uh, right now with the tracker. Um, so basically what you will need is the eye tracker itself, of course, updated drivers, um, the infinite screen extension, which is also sort of um, a patch or something for your Toby IX. And then you need the actual game, which is most of them are purchasable, purchasable on Steam, for example. And the tracker actually, it's not supposed to be instead of the mouse or the keyboard. It, the, th the, the thought is that it will actually be a complement. So while I'm playing the game, I will actually be, I will be able to look around, for example, and since the tracker knows where on the screen my eyes are looking, it can adjust sort of the, the angle where my character is looking. It's pretty, well, it's a pretty new technology in gaming and it's actually, it's super awesome, but it's sort of hard to explain to someone who hasn't tried it out themselves. So what I'm gonna do now is show you first how I will calibrate my iX. And after that, I'll show you some gameplay from DayZ. So here I'm showing you a video of me setting up the, um, the iX and I'm doing a calibration to make sure that the iX knows exactly where I'm looking. To do this, I have installed all the drivers and everything of course and I'm heading into user profiles, clicking on create a new profile. And the tracker will uh, actually tell me where my eyes are looking. So as you see, it says try to move around and then those white dots, those are my eyes. And when I can see them both, I just hit space and the tracker will, will guide me into calibrating, calibrating itself. And what I'm doing now is that without any hands, just looking at the purplish dots and looking long enough on them until they burst, as you can see, into little mini dots and the tracker will tell me when it's all calibrated. The tracker actually works with both lenses and glasses as well and it's possible to calibrate for just one eye if that's something you need. And here I'm setting up the infinite screen extension. I'm gonna play day C as I previously told you and uh, I'm just showing you that there are a lot of other games playable with the infinite screen extension. When I've chosen the game I want to play, which is Day C, you see here that I can adjust the sensitivity of the tracker and the angle and such, and then I can view angle limits, that's the field of extension which is from the start, it's 45 degrees. I actually changed that later in gameplay because I, uh, I wanted it I wanted to be able to look around even further, but you can play around with those settings and uh, find out what's best for you and your gameplay. I'm also using something called the Toby Gaze Overlay, which is this pink sort of uh, flying bubbly thing you see on the screen while I'm playing. And that is actually exactly where my eyes are looking. 
early access game. Yeah, thank you for participating in the Daisy early access. Sure, I understand. So basically that means that this game is not, there's, it's still under development. But let's see what character we have to choose from. Female and male. So, female it is. Her liar, and I can change the skin tone. What? Gina said, Henry. Oh, they're like prefabs. I'll just be Gina said. Okay. Let's see what happens. I'm just gonna jump right in. And here's. Oh, yeah. Servers. Let's see. Pub. 5 or 30 on just so that basically means five more players than me couldn't right, let's license yeah yeah So hopefully this will all work out with the Toby Toby Infinite Screen extension. Is it night time or I guess it's night time. I'm at the beach. So let's see if it works. Looking around, looking around, no hands. I'm starving. So yeah, I just r jumped right into this one, guys. So I'm using the normal like wasp to move, and then that's pretty amazing. I can just look around with my own eyes, and see the sky and everything. Let's see. So that's apparently. Uh, fight mode. So I guess my first goal is to find some food for this poor thing. Oh, did you see that? The camera moved when I looked at the webcam. I'm gonna keep my eyes on the screen then. I want to eat something. I know you want to eat something. I don't know where to... <gasps> Something running over there? Uh. I really prefer it was daytime. If it is if it was daytime. target for anyone that's been playing this game for a while but what was that I just need to find something to eat and like maybe a weapon normally <gasps> I would never like go straight for a big dark barn but how can I make it daytime Honestly, I just now felt my pulse going up. <sighs> this is way scarier than I thought. So this is DC during daytime on the server. And uh, I haven't encountered any other players. And I'm just running around being like really scared that someone will, you know, stand in the back or whatever. And um, probably you have to spend another couple of hours in this game to really get the hang of it. I just know that my character is hungry and well, I guess I'll have to read up some more on the game. But the main thing here was to try out my IX with the infinite screen extension and that's actually working really good. 
So as you can see, my eyes are just moving. I'm running um, with the normal WAST keys, but I can look around and just look at the sky, look around, whatever. And that's just my eyes moving, not the mouse or not the keyboard or anything. Just for you guys, whoever is interested in buying and trying out the iX, you now get a discount using my coupon code being Miss Gamer. I'm gonna put that down below as well, and you will get a discount. Yay! In the upcoming year, there will be a lot of cool and big game titles supporting this kind of gaming technology. So for me, it's actually I don't know. I don't. I can't. In my world, this is this is it. Like this is what how we will game in the future, and I'm, I can't wait like to see what the developers will come up with. For example, if you, me, I'm a big RPG fan, as you already know. What if I walk into a bar, I stare at the bartender, and I stare at him just for a little bit too long, and then I mean it's up to the developer if the bartender will pick a fight or if. If, for example, the button will look away and there, you know, it's a shy NPC or whatever, so it's just endless possibilities, and it's all up to the developers now. So the technology is already here, and that's super cool, according to me. As usual, I thank you so much for watching, and if you have any questions or just want to chat, hit me up on Twitter, where my handle is Miss Gamer S E M S Gamer S E as Miss Gamer Sweden and um, well you know hit like and subscribe if you want to and just leave a comment down below to make my day thank you so much have a good day bye bye Men det är inte det jag gör, jag ska bara se om den håller på att fugga.